Hi, welcome to Sofic 2016 in sunny Tampa, Florida, where we're introducing the LTVX ground surveillance vehicle. Key features include being able to let, uh, load it onto and off of a V22 Osprey, seating for four people, advanced thermal camera and radar, the TACFLIR 280 long range thermal camera with SWIR payload options, as well as EOIR, laser pointer, laser range finder, and laser illuminator. Above it, you'll see the R6SS radar, built also by FLIR, and an option to have the R20SS radar, which is a longer range radar out to 20 kilometers. And so you can see targets, identify them, track them all the way out past 20 kilometers. Here we have an optional UAS interface. And so once you get up to your location, and let's say you're on a hill, and you're not sure if there's friend or foe over the hill, you can handhold this UAS and launch it. It will go a click out, send you all the video feedback integrated into the video streams of the LTVX, and you can then have the UAS come back to you, land on your hand, and you can know whether there's a friend or foe in front of you. Back here, you have sled mounted payload. So this whole payload structure, mast and sensors and all, can be forklifted off the back of the unit. So this is great for service or if you have to leave in a hurry and you want to just take the payload with you and leave the vehicle, you have that option to do it. Differential GPS gives you very accurate location, which is very important when you're giving GPS locations of targets. The LTVX runs off of battery power for missions up to six to eight hours, depending on payloads and use. You can run off of shore power. So you plug this into 120 to 240 volts AC and charge the batteries or just run off it. And also the batteries charge as the engine is running. So they do a full recharge in about three hours. Has a FLIR camera with visible control. Can also have SWIR. The hand controller gimbals and pans the unit, as well as zoom and change field of view and color TV and EO. Full control system here, system brightness, reboot the display, general information about temperatures of the battery box and outdoor temperature as well as firmware, and again, battery status. You can control all the payloads as well as enabling the laser. And this gives a lot of information about battery health and state of charge. This is very important because when you're out on a mission, you don't want your battery to run out. And so this will give you an idea of how much battery you have left and what the status of it is and what's charging and discharging. And then we have some messages that we're gonna be working on as well as diagnostics. Here you have all the controls for lights, auxiliary lights and infrared lights so you can drive with your night vision goggles on. You have four-wheel drive control. You have the winch and so there's an auxiliary winch with a hand control unit so you can winch the vehicle up. You have a dim mode setting. When you press this the fans will not kick on so it's a silent and dim mode and it will dim all the displays. And then emergency off so if you have to leave this, the situation immediately Hit this button, powers everything off, mask comes down and you can drive off in a very quick fashion. Here we have our command and control software running. And so all the radar tracks will be displayed on this map. You have slew to queue of the camera so you can identify whether the, the track is friend or foe, as well as draw keep out zones that alert you if the target becomes an intruder or not. You can display your videos on here as well as do all the controls of the camera and the radar. Gives you general information in terms of the vehicle level. And then of course you can videotape not only all the channels of video of the camera, but also of the radar tracks. Again, battery health. And there's a full weather station on the unit, and so you know what the wind direction is and the speed, as well as the temperature and the barometric pressure. The system is extremely easy to use. Once you pull up to your location, Simply turn the switch on that powers the entire system and then hit the mass deploy. The mass goes up and you're ready to go.